Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we are going to go ahead and set up uh, email in Joomla. So this is a simple email setup. We're going to use, um, remember, you don't want to host your own email, if at all possible. That's a that's a real um, thing that hackers go after. So uh, if you, you know, you're kind of a newbie, you set up your own server, it's, an, it's, it's running its own email server. That's a real reason why a hacker would want to come in. They break into your site. They start sending their own emails that are malicious. And basically, your IP address and your domain name get flagged by the rest of the internet as a as a malicious site when it wasn't even you sending the email. So you want to just stay away from hosting an email uh, server, if at all possible. <clears throat> so let's take a look at one way we can do this. So this is going to be using Gmail to send emails. Now, you would want to only use this setup if you were using like um, if the emails were coming just to you. So if you had a customer contact form or something where, uh, say, people are coming onto your site and giving you information. Okay, If you're using the site to send information to people, to like send external emails, like people coming to your site would, would log in and you're sending them emails uh, from your site, you would want to do a more complicated setup using Outlook.com that we'll go into later. So this is the simple email setup through Gmail where, where you're just wanting a simple email that's going to be, you know, the site is sending you emails and you don't really care that, you know, it's not... Um, um, customer care at your domain.com it's um, my domain at gmail.com right that would be the email address okay so let's go ahead so we're in our Joomla control panel we go to our global configuration okay now let's take a look at some of this global configuration while we're in here okay first of all on our main site notice that um, if you have your uh, if you have your bar up here um, I know that uh, I don't have it currently turned on. So we go Alt V for View, and then we do uh, View Toolbars, and we do Menu Bar. You'll notice that up at the very top, you see your your Joomla site hosted by CloudAccess.net. So if you notice, that's your site name right here. Okay. So um, so what we can do is we can change our site name. So my site name is New Dad Bootcamp. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so we can change our site name. Let's just do that real quick, just for fun, um, and we'll come back to that. Okay, uh, and our site is not offline. Whoops. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. Let's go in and let's go to these tabs are where we have a lot of uh, set setups for the system. So let's go to system. Okay, there's a catch setting, session settings, system settings, debug settings. And then we go over to server, and here are our mail settings. Okay, so so currently what they've set it to is PHP mail. They have uh, your your original email that you signed up with. So what we're going to do uh, to set up our Google e Google email is we're going to go to these mail settings. Remember, we're in global configuration on the server tab. We're going to go down. We're going to set it to SMTP. Okay, our um, Our from email is going to be, um, <clears throat> I've noticed that this from email should match your Google email. So because you're not using this to send anything else, um, you can say that it's from anybody, right? So you're, the from email that's displayed to a person in, a ma in an email isn't necessarily where it came from. Um, but I've had, better, I've had the best luck with putting... Um, um, putting the actual email I'm going to use into this email. So I'm going to be sending this from educationpublic.com at gmail.com. Okay, and the from name is going to be um, New Dad Bootcamp. And you notice my problem here, okay? So if I'm only using this to send to myself, I can just call this the name of the website that I'm sending from. Um, which is fine. Okay, so notice that this from name and the from email are not going to match on this. Um, you would want to make these very consistent if you're making a production website. Like you'd want to sign up for newdadbootcut at gmail.com at the very least. Okay, so we have our from email, we have our from name. The send mail path doesn't matter because we're not using send mail. SMTP authentication, we want to put yes. SMTP security, we want to put SSL. <clears throat> the port is 465. That has to be the correct port. And then all you're going to do is put in your Google 
uh, login. So basically, that's my login for Google. That's my username, and then my password. Okay, and uh, SMTP host is going to be SMTP dot gmail dot com. Okay, so that's it. So basically, now when I click save. Uh, now, if I go in, any emails that I'm sending should now come through um, with no problem. Okay, so if you noticed in our last, um, if if you noticed in our last uh, uh, video, uh, when we set up our um, our system for signing up for this uh, for appointment setting, you know you should have noticed that no emails came through. That's because uh, the email system probably wasn't working on your server. But now that we've set up with Gmail, it should come through no problem. Okay, so that's our email setup. Uh, go ahead and set up your email and good luck.